So we're here today with Project Manuals and we have a service project we want to talk to you about. Brandy, what's prompted us to do this service project? So in the wake of COVID-19 or the coronavirus, there have been a lot of shortages, a lot of hoarding and a lot of price gouging and a lot of people just panic buying as well as a huge influx in illness. With that influx of illness, the masks are going so quickly. So the N95 masks are what people are needing to really... Um, Use to protect themselves? Yes, as far as the doctors and the nurses and the hospitals are going. However, the other face masks that you typically get at the doctor's office that the nurses may use or that the patients may have, even those are being really shorthanded. A lot of doctors and nurses and practitioners are saying, you know, they have one N95 mask per person per day. Or they're giving away the masks that look sort of like this. This is a fabric version that we're making right now. Those masks right there, maybe they only have one of those per doctor per day. For starters, it's not sanitary really, but they're doing the best that they can. Now clearly an N95 mask is going to be the best thing to be able to use, but cloth is still going to be better than nothing. And we have had a lot of hospitals and doctors, clinics and retirement homes even, cancer research facilities asking for these cloth masks because they can't get essentially blood out of a turnip right now. They can't get something that there's, it just doesn't exist right now. So having a skill set and being able to do that, we are making these cloth reusable washable masks for those different facilities. Well, and, and I think another good thing to point out, some of these doctors and nurses, they're friends of ours and they're telling us that they have these needs and we are trying to practice social distancing and staying in our house and doing what we can to make a difference. Definitely. Brandy's a fantastic seamstress. She's got all kinds of skills of doing all kinds of things. And uh, we have a 15 year old girl, Grayson, right there. She's helping. <laughs> Benjamin, he's done his part, right? Mm, that's totally, yes. Yes? What? Yep. I, I sewed. You sewed, yeah. He knows how to sew. Nine, 10 years old, knows how to sew. How awesome is that? So, what we're hoping to do is to maybe do a little bit of what show you how to make one yes so with us offering this to the public or saying hey these needs are out here and they need to be met we've been met with two different things an outpouring of people saying where can i drop materials i don't know how to sew but i have a ton of elastic i don't know how to sew but i have a whole lot of fabric i'd like to give you and then on the other hand we have nurses who are saying oh my gosh i don't have anything we've got clinics around town saying hey my son uh at his doctor's office they don't have anything and they can't get anything we have friends of ours who own facilities that are saying please 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 there are nine of us and we have enough to make it maybe a week but what are we going to do after that and so we're having the materials met and so with that, we're doing our part to go ahead and make the masks. And also people are saying, hey, I know how to sew, but I don't know how to do this one. Can you please show me the tutorial you're using or can you walk me through this? And so that's what we're doing today is we're going to mm -hmm. walk you through it. And on a fun note, we had some friends run by and drop off some fabric. And have you seen a Walmart sack this old? Oh my gosh, this thing has to be 20 years old. I got so excited when I saw this bag. We did, actually. we did. So, <laughs> so we are, we're trying to make as, as much fun about this as we can. Shoot a little bit of video and uh, give you guys something to do. If you, if you guys are practicing guys, social distancing, we've stuck got at home. We've nothing but time right now. Nothing but time. And we have three sewing machines. So yes. we're trying to, uh, trying to make things matter while we're here. And uh, unfortunately, we have day jobs we still have to go to through the week. But the right. kids are out of school for two more weeks. And who knows? They might be able to help us on that as well. Yeah. So, so Benjamin. So, okay. So let me start at the beginning. So this is a, this is the mask piece that you'll need. So this piece ends up being this main fabric piece here. So this piece is eight inches by 14. Once you've got it cut out, you're gonna half it, right? Which is what these guys over here are. Which guys? Benjamin did us a huge favor and sewed all these for us today in half. Then Grayson turned them and ironed them all flat for us as well. In the meantime, after I had cut all these out, I started working on getting these pieces, or these pieces, cut out, and Grace impressed these as well, and then cut all the elastic out for me while I was doing the other things and finishing up some of the masks. So this is all 
any age can help. If you can walk them through basics on a machine, they can help you, or if you'd rather do it all on your own, that's fine too. So that's exactly what we're gonna do, is just walk you through it. You're gonna need two, and this is, uh, I had forgotten to say, this is from a tutorial made by a blogger or a personality online called Button Counter. We're gonna go ahead and post that link for you. We really appreciate them posting that. It looks like the mask went up a couple years ago just for allergies and those kinds of things, kind of like a dust mask. We're gonna use that because that's <laughs> where our need is right now. And we have one piece of fabric. One piece of fabric is gonna be eight inches by 14. Okay. So you'll cut that one and then you're gonna, well you wanna probably press it first, iron it out to make sure there aren't any, any uh, wrinkles. Then you're gonna get that one cut out. These two pieces, I'll put them over here maybe so you can see them a little better. They are six by one and three quarter roughly and then you'll press those in half. So these ones we're gonna have in half both. And then these pieces right here, if you look at them, they are six and a half inches long. These are what are gonna be going around your ears to keep that mask on. Gotcha. So it's just just five pieces is all you're dealing with. Now Same simple. Yeah, super simple. So what you're gonna do is you'll go ahead and get everything pressed. You're gonna take that right sides in, right sides together. Okay, so we're using a quarter inch seam allowance. Halfway through the masks, you go ahead and switch to a straight foot. I'm just gonna go ahead and just use the straight stitch foot right now, just to save time. Uh, I have been just assembly lining these, but this will make it easier to show you how to turn everything else. So we're gonna go with the uh, the quarter inch, and I'm not back stitching just because we're stitching so many other things onto this, I'm not really worried about the edges on it. And I'll clean this up later. This is just essentially kind of to show you the components on how everything works. So at that point you would go ahead and press this one down. You've got the side pieces that go with them, and then the elastic. This one I'm gonna put off to the side. We've got one that's already pressed. It has a little bit of fabric on it <laughs> in the frenzy of everything we've done. So we've prepped out about 40 masks ready to just finish today. I did about a dozen yesterday, kind of trying to figure out how the pattern worked and how all the components work together, kind of get all the glitches out so that you guys could understand. And I, I did have a couple people ask me and kind of how to make this a little bit easier. So that's what we're doing right now. So with this, you're gonna measure up an inch and a half from the bottom and you're gonna mark it. Then you're gonna go another inch above that and you're gonna mark it. So now you've got an inch, if you can see it right here, that you've measured. From there, you're gonna go up from the last line. You're gonna mark another half an inch up. You're gonna measure up another inch. So now you're gonna have two spots that are gonna be pleats eventually. We're gonna repeat that last step. So we're going up another half inch. And then we're gonna go up one more. All right, so we're gonna move this on out of the way. So now if you can see, we've got you one. Up? Yeah. There you go. So you've got six lines, right? What we do with that is we're gonna match, kinda like if you guys remember way back, and I may be aging myself with the Mad Magazine in the back where you fold the papers in and find the hidden picture. There's no hidden picture. But you are gonna fold the paper and fold the fabric in. So you're gonna fold it in. And you're gonna pin it. And I do like using the small little clips, but as far as ironing, um, with them. I use the clips a lot. We're using the straight pins right now just because it's a little bit easier to iron with them. So all we're going to do is just repeat that last step. We're going to make sure we're evened out, that the lines are matching. And you can finger press those if you want just to kind of get them to lay down. Just make sure you don't stab yourself with those pins. You haven't done that yet, have you? Stab myself? Yeah. I mean, yeah, a couple times. <laughs> I got myself, I just got a new rotary blade put on. I was really fighting the rotary cutter earlier this morning, and my sweet husband picked up a fresh blade for me, and I uh, just uh. tapped it with my hand earlier, and just... 
Safe, so, to, safe to say the razor sharp? It is so much easier to cut fabric with right now. Yes, and definitely very sharp. All right. So now we've got it like this, which is more what we're used to looking at. Oh, sorry, didn't mean to lose you. This is more what we're used to looking at when we think about masks. So we've got it here. At this point, you're going to go ahead and press it. And then we're going to attach these. All right, so now we're at the machine. We've got our needle up. I've gone ahead and shifted my needle into the far right position. It's asking for an eighth inch seam allowance on this particular spot. So we're gonna go ahead and set it down. We're not back stitching just yet. This, <laughs> this particular spot's gonna be gone over several times. So right now we're just gonna, just nice and easy. We're just going to rinse and repeat on the other side. All right. So now that we've got the mask sewn the way we need to, so it's not going to open up, we're going to pin, and like I said, I really like these binder clips pretty well. So what we're going to do is just attach these, and it says about an eighth of an inch down. To be honest, I'm just eyeballing that. It does not have to be perfect. So we're just going to pin it at the top and at the bottom. Now do make sure those are parallel with the bottom. What do you bottom. mean by parallel? So you don't want it this way, right? You don't want it coming in at an angle. You're gonna want those, and you're gonna have to manipulate them just a little bit to come in matched up this way, right? Oh, so it's parallel with the bottom of the fabric? Correct. And then we're just gonna repeat on the other side. And yes. to those of you that are doing this, you know, we really do appreciate you and your medical community appreciates you and the people who are immunocompromised that can't get out um, or may feel a lot more comfortable with a mask, I know that they appreciate you guys as well. So thank you to those of you who are getting ready to do this. So at the point where you've got these on here, you're, we're gonna go ahead and they're calling it a baste. I personally like a tighter stitch. I know these are gonna be gone over a couple times but I like the idea of knowing that the stitches aren't going anywhere. So we're just gonna go over them. And I'm only going over the pieces with the elastic, not with all of it. I'm gonna backstitch that one just a little bit just because it looked like it didn't really come down the right way. And this is funny. This is my first sewing tutorial I've ever done, so this is actually... I hate the circumstances, but I really do like sewing as much as I like cooking. And I don't really get an opportunity to sew a whole lot. And again, I hate that it's these circumstances that I'm doing it, but it is nice to share that passion with everyone, all of you guys. All right. So you're just gonna take your snippers or your scissors, whatever it is that you use. Because I just ran kind of the thread through it, we do have a lot of little loose threads hanging. And 
this is going to be a hidden seam. You're not going to see all this. I do like the finished edges being pretty oh, void of all this extra threading hanging here, but if you don't get it all the first time, most of it's going to be hidden when you're finished, so it's not a big deal. Alright, so once you've got that done, you're going to take this raw edge where we pressed these earlier, and they'll show you that in the tutorial. This is just basic knowledge. Uh, these were pressed closed. You're going to put it right here. You're going to leave about a half an inch overlapping here. Which way? On both ends eventually. So now you've got like about, an a, in, about an inch? Uh, it says about a half an inch. That's about a half an inch. So I put that there and then I just pin it here like this. So I'm not sure why they requested it quite as wide as it is. Because then they just have you cut it off. But that's fine. That works. It's not very hard. So we'll get that one bent over as well. Folded. And so if you're doing all this sort of assembly line, if you've got a whole lot of these masks, and as you're going, you know, you're doing this piece, you're folding it all and pinning it, right? These won't take very much time at all. If you do them one by one, start to finish, they do take, my first mask yesterday took me, a, I want to say about two hours. And some of that was understanding the instructions the right way and sort of playing with those. And the other part was just, it's just a bit time consuming when you do it one by one. So when you're finished pinning this, it should look like this. You've got your elastic, you've got your accent piece here. This is what the back looks like before you've sewn it. And so with that, you're gonna come back to your machine You're going to follow the instructions on the tutorial. And with this one, you are going to backstitch. And that's just to lock that in. Now, they requested a little larger allowance than I'm giving. And the reason for that is yesterday when I did that, I didn't my snippers for a minute. I didn't have as much space to roll that over. So once it's sewn, it looks like this on one side, this on the other side. At that point, and also the other side here in just a moment, you flip this open. Now when you flip it open, you do it the way that they say, this back piece does not come up over this. And so the problem is this tutorial has you turn this down and then when you're finished, this is actually the front of your mask, if that makes sense. So it's not the way that you'd imagine it. It's a little bit confusing the first time you do it. But if you use the allowance they say, it's much harder to turn this over to, to sew it in. And so I just use a bit of a, a more narrow seam allowance than what they're recommending. So you're going to go ahead and turn it. And keep it just as narrow over here as you can. This little piece that overlaps, I've just been tucking it in. So you're just going to tuck it. And then we're going to sew it again. And so this is the part, that narrow seam allowance, or that narrow, uh, that straight stitch foot really comes in handy. And the reason is because there's so much fabric in there that uh, it doesn't want to sew over. Go ahead and tuck in the back edge too so I'm not fighting with it here in just a moment. And guys, these aren't perfect. I'm sure that someone else does much nicer work than myself. I'm by no means a professional. I, this is not my day job. This is something I enjoy to do and this is the way that I can give back. So while it may not be perfect, they will be appreciated. And yours may not be perfect, but again, they will be appreciated as well. And so just do, you know, Brighten the world with the tools that you have. They may not be the same as everybody else's, but they will be appreciated. So we're going to go flip them around and we're going to do the other side. So now we're going to
going to repeat. We're just going to turn this piece out again and trim off that little thread. So we've got it the same way here now. We're just going to do the same thing we did a moment ago. We're going to flip her over. Set that corner there the way that you need it to be so that it doesn't show on the other side. And guys, I am moving that from uh, the right needle position to the center. I sort of go back and forth. Just it's a, For me, it's a little bit easier for me to handle that seam allowance. Alright, so we've got it back under there. And like I said, make sure you are back stitching both times that you sew this entire, the accent piece onto the entire mask. Just because you're going to want that reinforcement on the elastic, as well as on the mask. This is something that can be washed and reused. Again, the situation is not ideal for us to be using these to protect our doctors and our nurses and our infirm public, but it is better than nothing. If you would like, you could cover stitch this piece here just to give it a little more finished. I'm not, I'm not selling these. So for me, there's no reason, I'm not cover stitching over here. It's heavy and it, there's a lot of layers to go through and it's a bit cumbersome and it's just a lot more time intensive. And so I'm not doing that. If that's something you wanna do, feel free to. It is there in the tutorial. I hope that this guys help. Words are so hard. I hope that this helped. I hope that you understand how to do the tutorial a little more. I hope that you can help where you are with what you have. So does that, is that mask done? This mask is finished, yeah. Let's see what it looks like. Okay. So this is what it looks like on. And then with those pleats, you can just pull it up. And so that does cover the face. Oh, you got nicely. a good seal that way, don't you? Yeah, I mean, it's cotton. So, but yes, in general, it is sealed. It's touching every piece of my face here, all my pieces of my face here. But again, it is cotton, guys. So this isn't foolproof. This isn't, you know, 100% going to protect you from what's out there. It is better than nothing. Well, so, and... I guess one of the things that I read was that, you know, these masks, if people are potentially infected, it's going to help them from spreading it Correct. more yeah. than it's going to help the people that are trying to test if people are infected, the healthcare professionals, really more the public from spreading it to other people. That's right. So guys, the biggest things, you know, contain your coughs and your sneezes and your air spray the best you can, cough into your elbow, cough into a tissue, a handkerchief. Mm -hmm. If you think that you're sick or you're feeling symptoms, do wear a mask if you can. Keep yourself inside, guys. I know it's no fun. I know that we don't eat out that much, but when they said that we couldn't eat out, that's all I want to do is go out and eat. I know that that's what everyone wants to do right now. That's not where we need to be, and most of the restaurants are shut down, so it doesn't matter if we want to or not. We can't now. Wash your hands, guys. Please, please, please wash your hands. These are all the things that can help us. Right now, we're all in timeout. Let's get past it so we can start living our normal lives again, guys. Yeah, and on a parting note, <clears throat> we're we're giving these to healthcare professionals, people in the medical community that need it. We are not selling these. Yeah, we're we, not selling. We've we put a PSA out in our local community asking people to donate uh, fabric or uh, elastic so that we could make these because um, I, I practiced social distancing, distancing this morning going to Walmart and there was no elastic to be had. So uh, we have some family that is actually going to order some via Amazon and have it drop shipped to us so that uh, Brandy and Grayson and Benjamin can continue their endeavors of making these. And uh, as long as I can keep running errands for everybody and keeping everybody safe, I'm happy to do it. Yeah, so three of us actually uh, have asthma. I have some immune system issues myself. So we are trying just to be in as much as we can because... We're not setting the world on fire making these masks, but... If people aren't making the masks, who's protecting the doctors? And if no one's protecting the doctors and nurses, who can fix the sick? Yep. It's all a cycle, you guys. So please, 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 if you can help by giving to the people who are, are, are doing these things, do that. If you have the talent or the time or the ability to make masks or to run those trips for people who can't, whatever you can do, and please don't be out very much, please. Yeah, we're not asking people to go out and about. Yeah, no, please don't. But whatever you can do to lighten the load off of the other people, you know, at the end of the world, at the end of the world, that was a Freudian <laughs> slip. At the, 
at the end of the day, let's just raise people up. Let's just help where we can. Yeah. And remember, think of other people besides yourself Mm -hmm. and reach out to those people that maybe you haven't talked to in a while and just see if they're doing okay. Uh, One of the things that I've heard from people that I've reached out to is that they just appreciate people seeing that people are okay. Mm -hmm. And in this time, uh, where we're at in today's world, really all we have is each other. So God bless. Please take care of one another. We love you guys.